Hi kids, welcome to another episode of Drawing with Ms. Legner. Today we're going to continue our journey in art history and we're going to talk about a movement called pop art. Pop art started in England and eventually made its way over to the United States going through some very important New York City artists. Pop art started in the 1950s and lasted really until about the 1970s. However, many artists today still are influenced by this pop art style and continue to use a lot of the features of pop art in their own artwork. Pop art is known for taking common things, whether it's household objects or people or scenes, and adding kind of a comic book or an abstract style to it. Pop art is also known especially for using bright colors and often using bright colors in a unique way. We're going to talk about the artist Andy Warhol in this video and then in the next video we're going to talk about a guy named Roy Lichtenstein. Try to say that 10 times fast. Andy Warhol was best known for his printmaking skills which means that he took a print and he made it where it was sort of like I would explain to you guys like a stamp if you've ever used a stamp before and then he would take his picture and print it out on the paper which then would create a repeating design of something. He has several pictures we're going to look at that he is known for such as Marilyn Monroe and the Campbell Soup posters. If you're a Lake Homa kid, we have a print of those Campbell Soup posters down the hallway from the art room. So you may have seen that and wondered, what in the world is that? Well, you're gonna learn today what Andy Warhol was all about. We are gonna try to make our own prints at home and it's gonna be a lot easier than you think. So you'll need some tin foil and some markers that are washable, like the Crayola markers or Rose Art markers something that says washable on it. That's gonna be really important as we create our pop art off the tin foil. I'm looking forward to showing some of Andy Warhol's paintings to you, and then obviously creating your own pop art masterpiece with printmaking. So grab your supplies and let's get started. This is Andy Warhol. He was an American artist that lived mainly in New York City and is most widely known for his pop art he did during the 1950s, 60s, and 70s. This is a painting Andy Warhol created called Banana. It was painted in 1966. Andy Warhol used a combination of painting techniques and something called screen printing, where he could print multiple images of something over and over again. He got interested in the screen printing and printmaking because while he was in college, he began carving his own rubber stamps to use in his artwork over and over again. Again, this is just a regular household item we would have in our houses, and Andy Warhol managed to make it into a work of art. In his later years, he created this pop art print of Mickey Mouse. Again, it has that pop art style to it because it's not realistic looking and you can see Mickey Mouse has a pink outline around his face. You can also tell he wanted to create that print effect again because if you look, there's actually two, maybe three outlines of Mickey Mouse really closely. So he stamped out the Mickey Mouse and then painted in the colors. This painting actually has diamond dust in it, which is what gives Mickey a little bit of shine down there on his body and in his mouth and on the buttons. This is an actual painting he did of a Coca-Cola soda bottle. This is actually hand painted, not screen printed like we saw in the other item of paintings, which gives it a smoother finish. Again, just a regular household object that he has created into a piece of art. This is Andy Warhol's most famous works. These are 32 mini little canvases and he took a Campbell's soup can and painted it 
over and over again. And then he added in the different flavors of the soup. You may have seen the poster of this by the art room because it has been reprinted several times. Again, this is probably his most famous artwork. Now that we've seen some of Andy Warhol's work, what I want you to do is find something in your house, just like he did. The banana, a soup can, the Coca-Cola bottle, whatever it is, I want you to find a regular household object of your choice, get a piece of tin foil, and like I said, those washable markers, and we're gonna make our own pop art prints like Andy Warhol. Here we are at my workstation and I have my tin foil and my paper. And I already did an example to show you what we're doing today. So if you remember, Andy Warhol had the little print of the banana. So I drew strawberry fruit and then I pressed my paper on top to make a print of it. So we're gonna do that again here and I'm gonna show you how to do it. And then you can make anything you want on your piece of tin foil to make different prints in the pop art style. So I first did my colored part with the red and the green. So I drew my shape of my strawberry. And then I colored it in with my marker. Remember we're using washable markers. So that would be Rose Art or Crayola, or even if you have some other markers that you know wash off your hands, that's perfect for this project. And I'm coloring on the shiny side of the foil. And I'm gonna go over this two times. So I colored it first, and then I'm going back over it. And then now I'm gonna do the top part of the strawberry with the stem. And I'm gonna color that in over the top. I can't wait to see what you all choose to make with your pop art printmaking. Okay, so that's my colored part with the strawberry. So I'm gonna get my paper here. I'm gonna put it down and then I'm just gonna rub over the top of it, pressing as hard as I can. You could use your fist to kind of roll over the top of it. And then when we turn our paper over, you have your print of what you drew. So mine's my strawberry. Now, if you remember, Andy Warhol then had the outlines. He had it around the Mickey Mouse and the banana that we looked at. So I'm gonna go back to where I drew my strawberry and then this time I'm going to create my outline. I decided to go ahead and do black, but remember Mickey Mouse was outlined in pink. So you could pick any dark color that you wanted to outline in blue, purple, dark green, maybe even a dark pink. And then I'm gonna come in and also add the detail of my strawberry seeds. And remember, we're not going for realism because it is pop art, so it doesn't have to look exactly like how a real strawberry seed looks. Then I'm gonna take my paper again, line it up over the top, Roll my hand over it. And then when I turn my paper over, I have my outline, just like Andy Warhol did with the printmaking. And that is how we do a pop art print. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I can't wait to see what you create.